Players now have the option to set sail on safer seas, giving you more choice over your experience and allowing you to play Sea of Thieves how you want. Safer Seas is a new mode which will enable you to play Sea of Thieves on a single cruise server. This means that apart from you and up to three additional friends that you could choose to invite, there will be no other players in the world with you. The existing mode, where you play in a shared world filled with other players, is now known as High Seas. Safer Seas will offer access to a wide range of game features and content, including trading company voyages, encounters with deadly creatures and action-packed world events, story-driven content with tall tales, access to multiple ship types, cosmetic options for your pirate and ship, and seasonal progression too. You'll be able to explore Sea of Thieves at your own pace and focus on the things that you want to do without the interruption of other players. You might be somebody who just wants to relax with their friends in an environment free from intense PvP battles. Or maybe you're a parent who wants to share Sea of Thieves with your children without the worry of other players negatively impacting their first voyage. And if you're a pirate who loves a ripping yarn, then you can use Safer Seas to explore our wealth of story-driven content. With our tall tales, perhaps you'll adventure through a maze of deadly traps as you journey into the depths of Flameheart's lair in Heart of Fire, or solve fiendish puzzles as you explore the fabled shores of gold. You can even set sail with none other than Captain Jack Sparrow in a pirate's life, a thrilling experience based on Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean. With Safer Seas, you and your friends can embark on these tall tales, safe in the knowledge that no other players can interrupt a crucial point in the story. We also expect Safer Seas to be a stepping stone for pirates, before they dive into the shared world of high seas. Safer Seas will allow you to learn the ropes and understand the world and its key mechanics, so you'll be ready to set sail and experience the magic of the memorable stories that come from playing in high seas. While Safer Seas features an incredible amount of content to explore, there are differences to how you'll progress and what features you'll be able to experience. The value of gold and reputation that you earn in Safer Seas will be set at 30% of what you would earn in High Seas. You won't be able to earn reputation or gold from Athena's fortune or from the Reaper's bones, and all trading company progression will be capped at level 40, which means that you won't be able to become a pirate legend in Safer Seas. That will only be possible in high seas. Sailing as an emissary, PvP hourglass battles and ship captaincy won't be available in safer seas. And new experiences that arrived with Season 10, like sailing as part of a guild and the Skull of Siren Song, are also unavailable in this mode. While some features will remain exclusive to high seas, Safer Seas gives players who want to play outside of the shared world an incredible amount of content to experience, either alone or with their friends. We want to give you as much choice as possible when it comes to how you choose to play Sea of Thieves, and we're excited for Safer Seas to help support that. So if you want to explore the seas on your own, or with select friends, then Safer Seas are the perfect place to set sail.